All right, my yogi friends, today is the final day of our Fall for Yoga challenge. Thank you all so much for participating. There are two postures for today, so we want to end with an inversion. I am going to be demoing and breaking down bound headstand, and Christina is going to be sharing shoulder stand. So make sure you check both out, maybe try both, maybe pick one, and leave a comment below on each of our videos, just letting us know what you think of the pose. All right, so headstand few key things. If you've never ever done headstand before, I definitely recommend trying it with a yoga teacher by your side or someone who can give you a hand. Also, you can try it at a, at a wall if you feel more comfortable, if you kind of got headstand down a little bit but you want that protection behind you. So to get started, I'm going to give a few steps and modifications along the way in case you don't want to come all the way up. But Let's get started. So we're going to begin by coming towards a tabletop pose and then dropping down onto your forearms. From here, interlace your fingers and let your thumbs reach up kind of like this little goal post. Awesome. From here, press up and out of your shoulders. So make sure you're not dropping your chest. You're not, you don't really want to rely on your head and your neck to hold you strong here. You really want to rely on your shoulders. So press up and out and then gently drop your head between this little cradle you've just created. Your hairline comes just about to the mat and then once more re-engage. Press out of your shoulders, hold the back of your head strong and your head just kind of grazes the mat. You're not really even relying on your head here. And you can stay right here. Or maybe tuck your toes, lift your knees. You can stay right here. You can start to walk in. You can stay here. Exhale, create a little bounce and start to lift. Use your breath. Use your core to lift those legs nice and slow. Stay strong out of your shoulders. Hold when you arrive, five breaths. Keep pressing up and out of your shoulders. Keep that breath moving. Pull up from lower belly, core is engaged and really strong here. And to come down, slowly start to tuck one leg and then the other. Extend your arms out in front of you in a nice little counteracting pose. Slowly roll to the top of your head. No pressure on the head, just a little roll. Three, two, and one. Come all the way down and sweep your arms up high. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart. If lifting with straight legs isn't quite for you or maybe you need a little bit more time to build the core strength, again, press up out of the shoulders, holding and cradling the back of your head. Your hairline grazes the mat. Walk in and you can just tuck one leg and then the other, so tucking them into your chest. And then from there, Extend nice and slowly, squeeze your thighs in towards one another, stay strong through those shoulders, and lift straight up. So either version is great and challenging and fun, nice little playfulness in our headstands. I like postures like this because they remind me to never grow up, see the world from a new angle, and then again nice and slowly start to bend into your legs, drop one foot nice and slow, then the other, and extend legs, arms rather straight out in front of you. Maybe give a little roll, top of the head to the forehead. And shake out the shoulders. Ah. And then the crazy hair starts. Thank you so much for joining. Leave a comment below. Let me know what felt good for you in the posture. 
and we will be announcing the winner tomorrow. Stay tuned for that, but regardless, thank you so much for joining and doing some great work for your body this week, taking a little time out of each and every one of your days just to snap a quick pic, get involved, be a part of this yoga community on Instagram and YouTube. It's great to see everyone participating. See you soon. Namaste.